Hey guys, how's it going? Back with another video. I was actually in the process of making a video um, a little while ago, and I was interrupted by a complete asshole of a uh, manager at the uh, Flying J in, uh, where the hell was I at? I was in California. Give me a second, we'll see. Well, I think I turned it off. Give me a second, I'll see where I was at. I'll tell y'all where I was at. Um, but in the meantime, I was here at this uh, at this Flying J, and there was really no parking, like anywhere in the area. I had to bobtail, um, not bobtail, sorry, um, deadhead rather, um, probably an hour to get parking, because um, just where I was at, there was no parking in Carson. Uh, there was no parking. Um, if you looked up, it said there was truck parking, but it was like just a couple of spots where you could fit a truck or a couple trucks into. Uh, it really wasn't any actual parking. Um, so when I got my load that was up in uh, Bloomington, uh, California, I started heading up that way. Uh, and there was this truck, I found truck parking on the way there, right down the road. So... I get to this pilot, sorry it's not a pilot, but Flying J, um, and there's another one next to it called a, uh, I think it was Three Sisters, and it was on in Ontario, California. Really no, no parking, nearly all the parking spots were taken up by bobtails. Um, probably 60 parking spots, and they're all, all but maybe 10 of them were taken up by bobtail trucks. And, um... So me, uh, I found a, a, I'm pretty good at creative parking. Found a spot, um, kind of in the back behind the shop. There was a shop, not like an actual tire shop, but like a, um, just a little raggedy little shop. It wasn't even like a preferred, like, you know, like, what was I think, uh, I think Love had like Speedco or whatever. But it wasn't even anything like that. It was just like some raggedy old shop. And um, I parked over next to it because there was like, Nothing that said no parking. Um, you know, the shop wasn't even open no more. Um, it didn't look like. Uh, another truck parked there. I just parked next to him, you know, and we were chilling. You know, I was, I was in the sleeper, and the manager comes out. I was actually making a video. The manager comes out, beats on my door, and starts demanding that I move right now. Um, I need to leave. He's calling, or he's calling the police, and he already has a tow truck on the way. Um, I asked, "Why do I need to leave? You're not in a damn." He said, "You're not in a fucking parking spot." I said, "Well, you have all the bobtail trucks taking up all the parking spots. It doesn't matter. They're paying customers." I said, "So am I. I just went and spent twenty dollars in here." He said, "I don't care. You need to leave right now, or I'm calling the police." And uh, he told that to like two other, two or three other trucks. He was still walking around the parking lot, like telling people to leave. Um, so I left. I was already in violation. That's why I parked there. Um, I was already in violation trying to get parking. So like I said, in Carson, the area I was in, there was no parking. Um, I'd already and I'd already trip planned. I'd already did the best I can. They kept changing my pre plans. Um, so I was doing the best I could with what I had. Um, this wasn't really anything in the area, and so I ended up having to leave, come up here to a TA, um, like 10 miles down the road, and pay to park. I don't know how much it's going to cost. I haven't gotten, I haven't had to go pay yet. You take a ticket, you go park, and then when you leave, you have to pay. Um, I'm sure it's going to be like outrageous, like 25 to probably 60 bucks, somewhere in there. Um... So I'm a little aggravated, I'm a little pissed off, because now I'm really in violation. Um, I was already in violation, and now I'm in violation again. So I'm a little aggravated, a little pissed off about that. Um, to be honest, I told uh, told this about it. I said, I said, if all possible, don't send me back to California. It ain't it ain't worth the bullshit you got to deal with when you're out here in California. I, I see why so many people don't like California. <laughs> Fuel's stupid expensive. Um, over 350 a gallon. 
it's almost four dollars a gallon for fuel here um trucks can only do 55 um even if the speed limit's 75 uh trucks can only do 55 um there's very limited parking uh you typically have to drive a good distance to get parking and then by the time you get there because again only parking it's already full and then we try to make parking or, or make accommodations the manager is an asshole <laughs> So, um, yeah, a little, a little aggravated about that. Um, other than that, days went pretty well. The load dropped off. They, that place sucked. It was tight to get into. Um, really no room to move around and try to back into a dock. They took their sweet time uh, checking you in. There was one guy, he waited, he was took him 40 minutes to check him in. It took me like 30. I mean, it was ridiculous. And then they took their time unloading you. Um, they were nice, but they, just, they took their sweet time. And, uh, so. That was that, um. So what I was saying earlier before I got uh, rudely interrupted by some fucking prick that acts like he's a warden or something I don't know uh, trip had been going pretty well up, up until that point uh, again for those who don't know I went from Van Buren Ohio to Casa Grande Arizona dropped my load at Walmart at the Walmart distribution center rather I uh, went from there to Yuma picked up a load of batteries brought them to Carson, California. Carson is right in between Compton and Long Beach. Uh, so that's south of Los Angeles. They sent me like two pre-plans. Um, both are like within 20 minutes or 20 miles uh, from where I was picking up. And uh, one was going to West Virginia, the other was going to Virginia. I had started making like accommodations and like doing like trip planning on each one of those. Um, I started with the one, uh, I think it was West Virginia was first, you know, trying to figure out where I need to park for the night because I couldn't pick up, that one I was picking up this evening, um, trying to figure out somewhere to park and whatnot, see if they allowed parking. They actually allowed parking on site, so I was going to do that, and then they took that from me, um, canceled it, gave me the one for Virginia. I was working on figuring out how to accommodate that, you know, uh, what I need to do as far as uh, parking and whatnot, parking for the night. Took that from me, gave me this one that's going to North Carolina. So, which is more miles than the other ones were, but I couldn't really figure out how to accommodate the parking for that one because, or again, there was nothing in my area and it was going to be tight on time getting up to that area where I could get parking. But that ended up being what I had to do because, again, there's nothing in the area. I mean, it's like I've never had a hard time getting parking. You know, throughout the Midwest, you know, from Georgia up to Michigan. I mean, I've never had a hard time getting parking. Um... So yeah, that sucked. I started driving out towards it, and I had enough time to make it until there was like two accidents, there was a car fire, um, and a few other things. On top of the fact that semis can't do over 55, and that's like the max speed. It's not like, oh, speed limit's 55, you can get away with doing 60. No, it's like, you can't do over 55. Um, I still did, but not supposed to. But I ended up running out of time. I uh, called. I tried to get personal conveyance. They said you can't get personal conveyance because it's considered um, advancing the load. And I said, how is it advancing the load when I'm not loaded? Well, you accepted the load. Well, yeah, but I'm not loaded. I don't understand. There was no parking where I was at. I couldn't stay on site. There was no parking in the area. They had a couple little parking spots, again, that were just 
enough room you could fit a couple trucks, but by that time, I knew that they were already taken. They were too much of a long shot to go to try to go to get to them and then discover they had no truck parking. So there was like maybe five spots. So, I said, tried making it here, ended up being late. Went to the pilot, I mean the Flying J, went in, got something to eat, got a few things, and um, then had to deal with the fucking manager. Uh, so, that sucked. Got up here, we were TA. This has to be how TA makes their money. I, I, one, I've never liked going to TAs. They're nasty, they're dirty stink, um, it's more expensive, but there's probably 200 trucks parked here, at least 100, at least 100 something trucks, I mean, it's a big parking area, again, that's here in uh, Ontario, California, and if they, let's just speak, I don't know how much it's going to cost yet, I imagine $25, probably, roughly, that's what I've heard, I'm not sure, so if it's $25 per truck, and you have 200 trucks coming here and park a day. Uh, $2,000? Bad at math. It's a lot of money, though. A lot of money. So, I'm really aggravated about how that went. I'm excited to get out of California. I told them don't send me back to California. It just it ain't worth it. You know, if, you, if, if you send me somewhere, you got to send me into California real quick, fine. I'll do whatever. I don't like being that guy that's super picky. But it's up to, it completely up to me. I'd rather not come back. It ain't even that nice. It ain't even as nice as people put it out to be. Like there's, there's sites that are nice and whatnot. You know, like I said, I drove up the coast. I seen uh, San Diego, Long Beach, um, part of LA. You know, it was nice looking. But I mean, it's like all the traffic. Why the hell would you want to live out here? Like, why? Like, I mean, it's just... Ain't no way. Like, the, you've seen the ocean and stuff, you know, on the coast and all that. It was nice. It was pretty. You know, I drove up through lower part of Southern California. Drove up through part of the mountains and whatnot. And all hilly areas and all that shit. Seen the part of the dunes and... I said, it was, it was beautiful. It was really nice. But, just, no, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. So, so I got a load heading from uh, up here. I'll tell y'all where I'm heading. Fuck. There we go. I'm going to Kernersville, North Carolina. From Bloomington, California. It says that the load is to be picked up tomorrow at 7 a.m. That's, that's doable. Oh shit, I see now. It's supposed to drop off tomorrow. At uh, 1, 1 p.m. Obviously that ain't going to happen. So. I'll probably have it there. About four days. Take me about four days. Depends. I'm, I'm saying four days. And it could, I don't want to take longer. But it's going to depend on the, uh, the whole weather system and all that. Um, I've heard about the Midwest getting slammed with more snow. Um, big nor'easter and all that shit up north. Uh, so I guess we'll see. I don't think I don't know how much that's going to affect North Carolina, but going through part of the uh, part of the Appalachians. Uh, hopefully, this ain't a heavy load. We don't say how much it's going away, but you know, like I said, we'll, we'll figure it. We'll figure it out. We'll get it worked out. Um, so. Anyhow, you guys, I'm going to get off here. I am worn.
going to be hell out. I've had a long day. So, I'm going to get off here. You guys have a good night. Don't come to California. And until next time, peace out, y'all.